New ASB Classic Tournament Director, Nicholas Lamperin, welcome to Auckland. Thank you. Uh, fantastic to have you here. And, and finally, uh, we've got the ASB Classics returning in 2023. Um, why did you go for the role? Uh, I guess I have a, a bit of a history with, uh, with New Zealand. I, um, I first came as a, as a student back in uh, 2001 to uh, study for a year. I uh, had a great time and always felt uh, a special connection with the place. And you know, it's always been in the in the back of my mind that uh, you know, depending on the on the opportunity, I, I would like to return at, at some point. You're a bit of a tennis tragic. You've had a background in tennis um, as a player agent. Um, you've worked for IMG for Lagardere. Um, you're the current agent of Gail Monfils. So is, is Gail, great Frenchman that he is, um, your first signing? You know, not not necessarily. And you know, uh, Gail and I go uh, go back. Uh, very long time, you know, he was, uh, we're actually very good friends, he was best man at my, my wedding a few years ago. Um, we, we, I mean, to be perfectly honest, we haven't discussed his schedule yet about next year. Um, he knows he's, of course, welcome to come to, to, to play, but the last thing I, I want is, I don't want him to come uh, as a favour to me because I'm, I'm the tournament director. I, would, I want to make sure, you know, it fits uh, with, with his schedule. Uh, and that he's 100% uh, happy with the, with the decision. So we'll speak about it but probably later on during the year. You know, your predecessor and, and Carl Budge recommended you for this role, uh, and the fields that he assembled were world-class. In the last year alone, the women's field was, was quite staggering. I mean, how, how big a challenge is it going to be to assemble quality fields for, the, for next year's tournaments, given you know, the two years of being off the circuit, almost you're absent, you're, you're not really in the mind of players. Um, is that a challenge? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's always a challenge to put a, a stellar field together. Uh, two years is a, is a very long time in, in sports. Uh, you know, players have, have been used to work on their schedule and, and not plan on, on, on coming to Auckland anymore. So the, the first thing we have to do is to educate the player about the fact that the tournament is back on the calendar and that they, they should de uh, definitely consider it. Um, and then, you know, we, we, we're facing competition as well. You know, week one, we have a 500 uh, Brisbane WTA event. Um, and then week two for, for the men, there's, there's the uh, 215 uh, in Adelaide. All right, tournament directors have often uh, clashed or had some, uh, you know, interesting negotiations with player agents. So you're coming from the other side, now having the benefit of being a player agent, and now you're the tournament director. Do you think that experience is going to put you in good stead as you, you know, start that negotiating process from the other side, trying to secure the players? I mean, I, I want to believe that I have a, a very good relationship with, with most uh, agents on the tour, uh, which of course it's, it's going to help me uh, when I speak to them and, and, and discuss the, the participation of their, of their players. Uh, and also I understand how agents think uh, when it comes to you know, do, do a deal for, for, for tournaments. So of course I'm going to use that experience uh, to make sure we, we, uh, we're able to attract the, the best talent for, for the tournament. Some of it's goodwill, and I know players like to come here each year and start their, uh, start their season, but a lot of it comes down to money, let's face it. And uh, ASB have re-signed as the naming sponsor for three years. Have you been given a big enough budget for player recruitment? I mean, I, I can't complain. The, 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 the um, feedback that we've had from uh, sponsors so far has been very, very positive. Uh, the budget is there. We we are in a position to uh, go in the market and make some uh, substantial offer. Okay, let's look at the women first. Um, women's game dominated by Iga Swiatek, who was here as a as a qualifier in 2019. Uh, but a lot of names that maybe Kiwis aren't so familiar with in the top 10. You're allowed one top 10 player. Have you got a target in mind? Have you approached anyone yet at that top um, echelon of the women's game? You know, to get things underway. Yeah, I mean, I have a few in mind, uh, but to be honest, I, f I feel the, uh, the women's field is going to be the most challenging, uh, only because the, the top 10 is moving a lot. There's a lot of uh, girls coming in and girls uh, going out of the top 10. Um, we don't want to go too early. Uh, we, we need to, to see exactly how the top 10 is going to be in, in the next few months. And then I, I think once we have a better idea, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll make a formal, formal offer. And in terms of the men, um, one player that just I remember um, came here as a wild card um, in 2020, uh, Holgo Arun, as a teenager. Uh, and of course he made the quarterfinals at Roland Garros. Um, he's a player on the up. Are, there, are these sort of players that, that, that you look at, you know, rising stars, 
to, um, you know, to, to fill that field because, as we know, the week before a Grand Slam, it's very hard to get, yep. commit, get players in the top 10 to commit. Um, even if we do get a, 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 you know, between 10 and 30, we often get a good spread. But um, do you look for that sort of youngster, that rising star? Yep. I mean, we, we, we're very much aware of the, the issue we, we're facing in terms of participation on, on the men's side. You know, there's an ATP Cup in week one. Uh, most of the top 10 guys are going to be playing the ATP Cup. That means that they're guaranteed X number of matches and they don't necessarily want to play in, uh, in week two. So that leaves us with uh, fewer options. And uh, one way to look at it is to uh, go for the next gen of, of players. So the one you just mentioned, uh, I guess, is, is the perfect example. He was, he was struggling to break into the top 100 last year. And then he's had a, a stellar start of the season, you know, winning in Munich and then reaching the, 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 the quarters in Paris. Actually met with his agent uh, last week in Paris. Uh, he happens to be uh, a very uh, big supporter of the uh, ASP Classic. So let's see, let's see if we can uh, if we can make it happen. Carlos Alcaraz, would you love him? I mean, who who doesn't? Uh, you know, we, we we've had like nearly 20 years of uh, Federer, Nadal, and, and Djokovic. So I guess everybody's uh, very excited to see that that, that new face. Uh, I mean, things are going very, very fast for him. Uh, you, uh, as you've seen, he, he won like four uh, big, big tournaments this year. And just in terms of, uh, I mean, while players want to play, clearly first week um, for the women, they want to get their match play. So, you know, we always do get strong fields. Are you confident that you can deliver world-class fields in your first year as ASB Classic Tournament Director? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, we're, we're, when you look at week one, uh, you know, we're facing um, the competition of Brisbane. But I'm, I'm convinced all the girls, they don't want to play in the same draw. Uh, you know, they want to get as many matches as possible. So for them, it, it makes sense to, you know, some of them will go in Brisbane, some of them will be, will be in Auckland, uh, which will give us a, a great opportunity to, to build a, a very, very uh, competitive field. When Carl Budge ran the tournament, he kind of did everything. He was, uh, you know, he got the sponsorship, um, ran the tournament. He was um, very much the face of it all. How do you see you, your role? Um, I understand there might be some changes in terms of, you know, there, there are still people to come on board from a marketing and sponsorship yep. pers uh, pers perspective, but you're essentially um, focusing very much on player recruitment and delivering the tournament. How, how do you see it? Uh, well, part of my role also is to, to work on the, the commercial aspects of the tournament. So, um, you know, go, uh, being, being the market and, and, and signing uh, sponsors. Um, all, all the people that were involved with the tournament uh, two years ago, they, I mean, none of them are, are still in part of the organization. So. A big, a big uh, part of the, the job also is to, to build another team uh, and make sure all the, ro the, the roles are, are filled and we, are, uh, we have a, a great organisation for, for the ASB Classic. Are you excited? I mean, very excited. As I told you before, uh, it was always my intention to, uh, to return to New Zealand at some point and uh, to be able to do it, to work on the ASB Classic in tennis, which is my passion. I mean, uh, I, I couldn't hope for, uh, for a better role. Well, congratulations on uh, securing the role and we look forward to working with you and, uh, and seeing what you can assemble over the next few months uh, ahead of uh, the return of the ASB Classics in 2023. Thanks very much. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.